Welcome everyone, I'm Martina Rosato, and in my talk, I will show that transcriptome analysis reveals age-specific gene regulation in a nervous system of limnes stagnalis. The invertebrate snail limnes stagnalis is a simple brain that contains around 20,000 neurons organized in a ring of connected ganglia. Neurons are easily identif identifiable, and single neurons can be used for the study of synapse formation and neuronal development. The snail has a short life cycle, with animals that reach maturity at around four to six months of age. Our lab was the first one to perform transcriptome analysis from the central nervous system of snails of different ages, young, adult, and old. Principal component analysis of our data show that each age group transcriptome can be easily distinguished. Furthermore, analysis of the gene expression of the most differentially expressed genes reveals a specific pattern of gene expression of young snail transcriptome compared to adult and old. Among many identified genes, we're particularly interested in the highly regulated ones, such as glutathione peroxidase that is highly expressed in adult brains. Glutathione peroxidase has been demonstrated to be a marker of oxidative stress response in limnea. Our results seem to suggest an increase in adulthood of oxidative stress and a subsequent decrease in protective response with aging. Furthermore, our data show the increase of, uh, with age of complexin, a gene that codes for a protein involved in the regulation of synaptic vesicle fusion. Disease associated with complexin include schizophrenia and epileptic encephalopathy. Changes in complexin expression suggest changes in synapse plasticity during brain development. Our lab was the first one to clone the complexin gene eliminea, and we also have a specific antibody that recognizes the snail complexin. Furthermore, we're currently developing the CRISPR-Cas9 technique for the knockdown of genes in limnea. In future studies, therefore, we can manipulate the expression of highly regulated genes using CRISPR or overexpressing them in single neurons to study how this will affect synaptic and neuronal development, as well as elucidate its role in snail development and behavior. Results from our study will greatly enhance our understanding of the fictional role of critical genes in brain development and will likely improve our knowledge for therapeutic intervention to treat neural disorders like schizophrenia.